Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q here. We're here on another video related to Are You a Victim of Love? It's part six. will be 12 in total. Um, and the subject today is conditional love to unconditional love. All right, so I did this automatic writing piece a number of years ago, and I just kind of chose that one as an example for moving through con uh, conditional love to unconditional love. And there's going to be a little bit more about um, going into the light after we do this beautiful automatic writing piece. So here we go. Out of the corner of my eye, I can see them, snuggled in bed, waiting for the next book to be read. <laughs> Their years of innocence I miss. Randomly picked a book based on the colorful green cover and a simple drawing of a boy, a tree, and an apple falling. The giving tree. Over the years, the words grew for me, just as the boy grew for the tree. <laughs> year after year, I read this book to my Mark and Marie. Year after year, this book showed my children a new way to be. <laughs> for me, the story of the love of the tree to the boy who grew became more a book for me. You see, in my heart, the story of love and growth and understanding is etched for eternity and love and gratitude for your words, Shel Silverstein. All right. So that was a fun book. I mean, it was so fun. You know, we every when we would uh, put the kids in bed, my um, daughter would go into my son's uh, bedroom, and then we would start reading books. And sometimes I moved into you know creating new stories. Um, super fun and super amazing. So when we're looking at, are you a victim of love, conditional love to uh, conditional love to unconditional love? We get more. Uh, senses of guidance. So whenever we're working with some of these conditional things, we're really more so going into uh, learning a little bit more about uh, unconditional love. And so even with these books and, you know, with the kids, they were so cute and they, they absolutely love story time uh, before bed. And that was a really sweet, sweet space, you know, for us to share and to be cozy with one another and to have a deeper experience with with words and with books and uh, getting different insights you know through some of these beautiful night events that we did uh, with the kids it was super fun we're going to move into another progression with this too with uh, unconditional love is um, some of us have had opportunities to go into the light and when we call that light, I call that unconditional love or innate intelligence. But uh, when I say I go into the light, it would be that um, that love is that pure love is just right there. So this is a, something that happened to me a number of years ago, and it's related to um, kind of like an ND experience, near death experience event. And what I found was I was kind of it was at a night sky, and um, it was kind of um, it had rained, it was real muddy, and a lot of people were just on the ground, you know, they were on the ground, and they were muddy, and they just said, um, I just kept saying, I want to go, what's the light, what's going on with the light, you know, what is that, and um, the more I went, they said, don't go, don't go, they're gonna, they're gonna take you, they're gonna, they're gonna hurt you, <laughs> so, anyway, so, um, so as an NDE event that happened, I kept walking towards some sense of light, and it was a huge, gigantic, powerful light energy. And I kept walking, walking, and they said, "Don't go, don't go." I'm like, "Well, you know, I don't, I don't really go." Like, okay, okay, I won't go. That's not me, right? Um, but I kept going, and then I got to a place where it looked like there was a structure, it looked kind of like some long columns but it was so saturated in light that I really couldn't see the top I didn't know where it started or where it um, I didn't really know what was going on but I wanted to continue to go that light because I kind of felt like there was something inside of me that wanted to have a different experience with what is called unconditional love 
So I, in, so I went to the steps, I went into the steps, and then I kept seeing more light, you know, and, I, there, and finally I went into this other room. There were different rooms in different um, places, but I went to this room, and there was a window. I could see the window at that time, and then I just was like, I, I didn't see anything. It just was pure light, pure, pure light. So when we're looking at unconditional love, we have opportunities to see things in a, in a different way, you know, and have different perspectives and understandings of what is unconditional love and, um, and, and how, how amazing can that be? So once I was by that window and all it was was light, I realized that everything, it, it, let me just see this. So it's like so crazy, but there was a window that I was looking out and then all of a sudden the window wasn't even there. It was just pure light. Everything was pure light. And when I do my astral travel energies, um, I, I kind of like want to have a palm, a palm of my hand or another palm um, that's, that's really saying that I still have a body. But I look down at my body and I realized there were no hands, there was just no body. But what I really found with that unconditional love and that pure light energy that came through is that uh, I had personality. It was, I still had Susie personality. Um, I just was like kind of amazed that I was just, I was a being, but I didn't have a body. And that's kind of what was happening. And then I realized that I didn't have any fear or any kind of feelings of anything else other than like, I, I, I don't have a body, but I'm still in Susie personality. And so these energies that we're working with, going into the light and having an experience that is uh, extremely beautiful with that pure light energy, that pure, pure conscious light energy, is really helping each one of us to move more into unconditional love. Really feeling that breath of life, that feeling of goodness um, for your family, for yourself, for others, through you know, through the whole experience with here on earth, all beings coming into that pure light energy. So this has been a really great conversation. It started off with, are you a victim of love? And then we go to conditional love, to unconditional love, and then going into the light. So there's a lot to, more to that story with going into the light that I experienced. But I really acknowledge each one of you for just going in a little bit deeper with that unconditional love. And, and we don't really want to focus too much on conditional love, but we, I think a lot of us know what that means, that you've got to do this to have this. Um, we're focusing more on just feeling your very, very best, feeling your your health and your wellness of your body, feeling the good, goodness of unconditional love with the body, unconditional love with the relationships in your beautiful divine life, and also unconditional love related to the miracles that are showing up. A lot of them are showing up, and even if they're little miracles, you're beginning to get more uh, insights and more understanding about unconditional love with miracles or prosperity or abundance. So all of these things are so powerful, and I think this is it. This is it for now. So we'll see you soon, and namaste. <laughs>